Hi, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video I'm going to be going over uh, VLANs, how to configure VLANs. Also, I'm going to be showing you um, how to join your switch to a, um, to a router, and I'm going to show you how to set up pretty much what's called a uh, router on a stick. Uh, I'm going to show you some of the disadvantages to router on a stick. And so let's start off here. Uh, as you can see, I have four PCs, PC1, PC2, PC3, and PC4. Um, they're all going to be connected to switch one. Um, also, I have switch one is connected to router five. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna put these PCs into uh, separate VLANs. Um, we're, I'm going to create two VLANs. Uh, I'm going to have VLAN 13 is going to be PC1 is going to be on VLAN 13. Also, PC3 will be in, actually, you know what, let me move this down here and I'll go ahead and put the VLAN that the switch port's assigned to underneath. So PC1 is connected to VLAN 13 through switch 1. PC3 is also going to be VLAN 13. And what we're going to do with PC2 and 4 is we're going to put them into VLAN 24. And I just wanted to give you a little update on what I, what's going on with uh, all my videos. Right now I've had a lot of a high demand for uh, users wanting uh, my videos in full, uh, full length and also on DVD. So what I'm going to be doing here is uh, shortly is uh, just setting up an eBay uh, store to offer my videos to my users. So you can you know, just purchase all of my videos. Uh, full uncut uh, through eBay for uh, a fraction of the price that it's going to cost you to go out through you know another uh, IT training uh, vendor uh, to go through them so uh, again I've just had a lot of high volume of people asking me uh, you know for my uh, you know for all my movies on uh, you know on DVD so I thought that would probably be the best way to do it so I could distribute it out to uh, to you guys if you want them. Uh, also, I'm going to take my CCIE routing and switching lab exam uh, on August 23rd. So I've got a lot going on, um, but I also wanted to make some of these videos for you guys, you know, just to give you as good reference uh, material if you're studying or just trying to uh, enhance, you know, progress your career. So, okay, so enough about that. Um, we have, again, uh, switch 1, we're connecting PC 1 and 3 in VLAN 13. Uh, again, really the main purpose to put switch ports into separate VLANs is uh, to minimize your broadcasts out to the switch. Uh, also, you, for segregation, uh, you know, segregating uh, users into separate VLANs. So maybe you don't want, you know, uh, you know, if, if you don't want your finance office talking to uh, you know, a, a different office in your uh, company. So, um, VLANs make it easy to segregate, uh, you know, users and switch ports into, uh, you know, pretty much a VLAN will break up a broadcast. So, uh, say I'm broadcasting uh, on PC1, I'm broadcasting out, uh, all I'm really gonna broadcast is to other users inside of my VLAN. So all the other users in VLAN 13 are going to receive messages that I broadcast out. Uh, whereas before, if I were not in a VLAN, all those broadcasts would be sent out on all the switch ports. So uh, VLANs are a very good way uh, to implement security uh, features if you don't want you know, computers talking to each other. Also, it's also a good feature to limit broadcasts, domains uh, within you know, your switch. Um, you're just basically with VLANs, you're just breaking up, you know, uh, switch ports to be uh, partake into different uh, 
you know, pretty much different broadcast domains. Also, you know, of course, uh, okay, so let's go ahead and get to the configuration here on uh, the switch. Uh, let's go to switch one here. Uh, as you can see here, if I do a sh you know uh, show CDP neighbor as I already did here, um, connected to uh, R5 over uh, fast Ethernet 05. So I'm going to show you how to connect you know your trunking ports to trunk all your VLANs over the trunking port so that your uh, layer three device and in this case you know our layer three device is external to the switch so it's going to be an actual router that all this VLAN information, if I want two VLANs to talk, uh, they're going to have to go, they're going to have to basically be routed up through the uh, trunk link to uh, R5. So if PC1 wants to talk to PC2, PC1 is going to have to send out, um, uh, it's, you know, PC1 is going to have to send out its traffic to switch one. Switch one is going to see, oh, okay. Uh, VLAN 13 is trying uh, a host in VLAN 13 is trying to talk to a host in VLAN 24 well it has to send that uh, that information across the trunk link to router 5 and where we'll see is router 5 is going to know where that uh, you know where that destination host in this case it's going to be you know uh, PC2 which is on VLAN 24 so it's going to see okay I'm going to have to go through this interface and back out over the trunk link down to switch one. So that's why they call it really a router on the stick because it's routing all these VLANs, uh, all these VLANs that are talking to each other have to pretty much go up to router five in order to talk to each other. Uh, what I'll do uh, later on here is I'll make another video showing you how to, if you have a, uh, a multi-layer switch, like a 3550, uh, our 3560 what you can do is you can set up the uh, what's called a switched virtual interface or an SVI interface on your switch so uh, you'll no longer have what's called router on the stick your uh, you know your VLAN uh, interfaces will, you can create a you switch virtual interface and you know you can have your VLANs talking to each other uh, across the switch and instead of going to a uh, you know a, a router the switch can perform the uh, layer 3 routing so we'll take a look at that a little more but I just wanted to show you this example of router on a stick um, so let's get back here into switch 1 okay so what I'll do on switch 1 is I'll just make uh, For PC, let's see. For PC one, I'm just going to put PC one. It's going to be attached to my fast Ethernet zero one interface. So I'm just going to go into global config, go under fast Ethernet zero one, and what I'm just going to do here is just do um, uh, switch port mode access. So we're going to pretty much make port fast unit 01 an access port meaning that it can only join one VLAN so once I do this I would have to follow this up with the switch port access and then VLAN 13 that way we make the switch port FA01 a, a member of VLAN 13 Okay, so let's go in here and do interface FA02, and we're going to make that a member of VLAN 24. 